Hi guys, I'm here with my 2009 Mini Cooper. Um, something weird happened right after I changed out my um, thermostat in there. I was driving soon after, like next day or two days later, I was driving and my oil pressure light came on. So I went in, trying to figure out what was going couldn't figure out why, you know, with this, why would changing my thermostat, coolant thermostat, cause my oil pressure light to come on. So, anyways, I went ahead and um, this is where your oil pressure switch is. I have an extra oil pressure um, sensor here. But um, this is where your stock one is. I went and unplugged it. And basically that's what happened. The um, plug is broken. You see not supposed to look like that so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and um, see where the rest of my switch went basically um, so look at that that's not that's not right so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out I think it takes a 22 millimeter or 7 8 um, that take that off okay okay here's my oil pressure switch I pulled this out with an, actually it didn't take much um, force to loosen it so the torque for this must be really uh, not that high and I can see that part of the switch or the connector is still inside here so let me see if I can pick it out there it is so this is the part that broke off that the connector for the oil pressure switch so I'm going to go ahead and order See if I can find order a new connector and I guess since I pull, pulled this out I'm going to go ahead and um, order another one of these okay guys I'm back I got all my parts here and it took three weeks and let me tell you why well first I ordered a new switch I mean not a switch a connector and this is the connector um, the pretty you can find these pretty easily out there, so it kind of, kind of makes me think that this connector breaks a lot. So, um, there's the part number, uh, 12527542850, and comes out, looks like this. Okay, looks just like the other switch. Okay, then I went online, and... You can find it all over the place too. It's a uh, oil pressure switch. And actually if you go online, you'll find a whole bunch where it actually shows a picture of the, it comes with a gas, you know, an, um, a metal gasket here. And this one actually, they forgot to include it, but let me, um, let me show you um, what the old one looks like. Okay, this is the old one and they look pretty much the same but this is the gasket for the washer it's called washer actually this is the washer that comes with it and this was pretty hard to take off I put it back on but you just and I wanted to go ahead and say okay I'm going to go ahead and um, put a new washer on it but the washers that come with this if you see it online it's not the one you need if you see this washer it actually has like a it's metal plus it has a, a rubber um, another washer inside it that's, that's glued to it so I went ahead and said okay this this doesn't come when you order oil pressure switch so you can got to order this separately so then I have to wait another week and a half after I got this ordering that for a week and a half then I finally got this this is what you need. It's uh, I guess it's seven five four six two three nine, and let me open it up. Okay, this is what the new one looks like. Here's the old one. So basically, it has is a metal washer with um, a rubber O-ring in the middle. So you can feel that this rubber a lot more um, more soft than this one 
So I went ahead and got this one. But if you go ahead, if you decide to change your oil pressure switch, order the um, order the washer at the same time. Because otherwise, you're going to get it and it won't have it, and you won't be able to change it out. So that's the switch. No, that's the washer, and that's the switch. And this is the part number for the um, oil pressure switch. Right there. Okay. Now the next thing was trying to find a torque for this. Let me show you. Okay, this book I usually use to look up torques. It's a um, third-party manual. Um, it's mini 2002 to 2013. But this did not have the torque for this. Put this back on. So I have to look online and if I go to Pelican, no, Mini Mania, and they give you this. This is what they have. So you got the N12, N14 to cylinder head, and that's what I have. So it says 20 newton meters, but if you have it attached to your oil filter housing, it's 25 newton meters. So I was trying to find a second source to make sure that's correct. So I kind of looked. And I found this one, and their kind of their numbers are a little bit different. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. So here they have oil pressure switch to oil filter. They don't have the one to the cylinder head, and they're saying it's 20 newton meters, whereas Mini Mania said it was. 20 newton meters to the cylinder head and to the oil filter housing is 25. So I'm not sure which one it is. It's either 20 or 25, but they're pretty close. So I think when I do it, I'll probably just split the difference and do like 23. Oh, so the other one has the metal connectors in here. This one doesn't come with it. There's no pigtail on it. So I was trying to figure out how to do that so basically this opens up like a little door and we see there's a slit here and there's a slit here and then I was looking at it and it looks like if you push on those slits it's like a tab see how that popped up a little bit there it goes so it opens up like a little door see that and then there's a rubber thing like that. So this one is probably still on the old one, so I'm, I won't be able to use the new one because it's already in the wire. And then I think the pieces are gonna come out. Then I'll be able to feed them through. Wait a minute. How would I do that? Because this thing will be on the wrong side of this. Let me see if I can figure that out. Okay, I think I figured it out. So instead of replacing the whole thing, at least for me, this, this is the piece that broke off where these little tabs are. So I think if I just, that's the piece I need right there. So if you look way in there, actually let me turn on the light, hold on, okay, that's better. So if you look way in there, you'll see the two slots on the outer slots here, and that's what holds this piece in. So I think if I push, I got my pick tool, if I push on here, I'm not sure how those tabs lock in. It's 
hard doing this on camera, so let me, uh, let me figure it out. Okay, this is what I figured out now. Focus. Okay, if you push in the center of that low slot, it releases it, but it doesn't come out all the way. See, like that? So it's probably still locked in there. So I could play, either play around, try to get this off, because I think the idea is you're supposed to unlock it like this, put in your pins, push this back in, then that locks the pins in, and then you lock the door. So since this door is attached to this one, what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut that little plastic tab and cut it on off the old one then I should be able to pop out all the guts out of the old one and use the old door in the new connector so let's um, head over to the car okay this could be a pain in the butt trying to film and do it at the same time I was able to go ahead and pop the door so there's that. I'm guessing I cannot pull this out unless I release. I'm not sure. So I'm going to cut this tab right there. So this door, I'll reuse this door. This is also I don't have to splice it. Because I think the pins are okay. I'm still guessing here's the the rubber thing that goes on the end here. Oh uh, look, they come right out. So you do so for the oil pressure switch, you only got one connector and a plug, just like that. So and go get the other one. Make sure you remember the orientation of which side this goes on. For me, it was the right side with the tabby thing on the bottom. So here's the new one. I'm going to take the door off this one. So, I should be able to Guessing to put this in like this. Then I have to make sure I push this. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap this. Okay, I'm back. So now that I got all that extra tape off, I think see, this pushes all the. You gotta put that that piece down as far as it'll go because of the door. Then I think this connector, you push it down. Oh, you hear a click. I pushed it down until I heard a click. Then I'm going to push this in. And I can see, let me see if I get a good focus here. I can see the metal connector right there. So I'm good. And I think pushing this in locks it in. So then I should be able to put the door back on. Even though, there it goes, clicks in. And there's my um, connector. I'm going to get some tape, retape that. And um, put the oil pressure switch in. 20, maybe 23, 24 Newton meters and I'll plug it back in. Okay, I don't know if you need to do this. Um, I just thought it was like a good idea anyways. So I went ahead and put some um, new oil on here to get the gasket oiled. And I actually went ahead and poured oil into this little hole. And then, you know, there would be an air pop bolt bowl in there. So I would go ahead and use my pick, pop the air bubble, and kept filling it up until I filled up with oil. Um, I just want I just didn't want a big old air bubble stuck in there and give me a, a 
funky reading. So I went ahead and did that and um, I'll get my torque wrench. I might need either a 7 8 or 22 millimeter, might need a crow's foot, but um, let me gather my tools and um, go ahead and try to put this on. Okay, I had a lot more trouble doing that than probably you guys would normally do because you don't have this extra um, pressure sensor like I do, oil pressure sensor. So it was hard getting a, for me, getting a socket in there or a crow's foot plus hold my other adapter in there so basically I just have to eyeball it kind of to get make sure it's tight enough and so I think I'm good and we'll go ahead and plug it back in and stir up the car and see if everything's good okay everything starts back up um, no oil pressure, low pressure here. I'm just going to keep an eye on that to make sure it's, um, I'm not leaking any oil that is tight enough. Um, besides that, that's how you change a, oil a broken oil pressure switch and an oil pressure sensor. So, um, good luck on yours and thanks for watching.